In Chapter 4, we saw how to create a queue and give it a basic fade time. However, the Edit window offers much more options concerning timing worthy of our attention. Based on our example from Chapter 4, open the Edit window from the recorded sequence by pressing the Edit Hard key, and then pressing one of the hard keys associated with the executor. Most of the options that can be changed in the Edit dialog window can be handled in the same manner as fade times. For example, the delay time is defined as the time period between pressing Go and starting the execution of the queue. Delay times are set by either right-clicking with the mouse on a particular cell or right-clicking on a selected range of cells and entering a value. Outfade and out delay are used to give a different fade and delay time to intensity parameters that are going down in a queue. This is sometimes referred to as a split time fade. As implemented for other functions, there is an extra option in the calculator pop-up window for returning an outfade time to the same time as the infade. Snap is an option that can be given to any parameter so that it does not follow the fade time of a queue but will instead be executed immediately. This option is particularly useful for gobo and color wheels. The Snap column in the Edit dialog window allows you to specify how long after the Go command is given the Snap parameters will change. Trig or Trigger has several options. Go is the default and means that when the Go hard key for that executor is pressed, the queue will execute. By entering a value in the trigger column, the period of time can be specified after which the queue will start execution after the Go command on the previous queue. On other consoles, this is sometimes referred to as wait time. Follow simply means that the current queue will execute as soon as the previous queue has completed. I fade and I delay stand for independent fade time and independent delay time. Those options will be explained later on in this chapter.